Salut from Paris. So today I am in Paris with Christian Dior and Harrod. <laughs> Christian Dior ready to wear an accessories. I have been so excited about this day. I could not even sleep last night. Um, so what's happened? I had a 5 a.m. 6 a.m. pick up, 5 a.m. wake up. So I didn't vlog the journey here. I'll, I'll vlog the journey back. Um, we're just about to go to the exhibition. It's the Christian Dior exhibition, showing all the different garments and the collections, all the different creative directors. I'm really looking forward to it, especially because I watched the documentary of Celine Dion when she went there and like sang in the, in the finale room. So I'm really, really looking forward to it. Um, with the team from Dior, a few of the girls, it's going to be a girly day. I'm going to take you around the exhibition, then to lunch, then maybe a bit of like just wandering around Paris really because I love this kind of moody, look at this, like breezy but moody weather. I am wearing my new Max Marocco. You have no idea what happened. I'll link you to Sophie's vlog because she actually did a better intro than what I'm doing now, but they left the security tag on my coat. I literally can't believe it. Um, I'll probably just insert Sophie's now because she ca captured the moment. Um, what else am I wearing? Is one more on jacket, tuxedo, leather trousers. I don't know why I do that because this is a crap angle. I'll show me outfit. Let's go to the exhibition and then we'll be going to lunch. So we're inside the ballroom. Look at that. So wow, I'm so hot. I'm having to hold this. It was such a bad uh, dress coat, but it's cold outside. So if you come in here, put your coat in the coat room. Um, so I think this is the finale, and this is where um, this is where Celine Dion came in and started singing. So this is the part that I was really looking forward to seeing. Look how close you can get to all the garments. So we just learned something by from our guide that's really interesting. So as you'll know, um, the Constellation Star collection. Um, let me try and find, oh they're all going, but the star logo is the first logo that Christian Dior ever uh, created and the guide just told us that Christian Dior went once a week to a fortune teller to see if he was making the right decision. So interesting. So that's what this represents. So here is 70 years of Christian Dior. This is the newest gown, 2017. And then you can go all the way to the end, to the oldest. What did you just say? Are you ready for drinks? <laughs> as soon as we leave. <laughs> so what did you think? I loved it. <laughs> it was so hot, it <laughs> melting. Did you like it? I loved, I loved it. it. I just wish it had some air con. Bonjour, bienvenue. Bonjour. <laughs> Hello. Wow. Oh Is this mine? Cute. Oh my god, it's so oh god, heavy. It's so I just said that as well. <laughs> oh my god, I just saw this. And we was you went you both went silent when I said, look at this book, and you went silent. <laughs> Oh my god, we have the most beautiful coffee table book. Oh, what a lovely memory. Oh, wow. Thank you so much for coming today. Let's have make a toast to the legacy of Dior, to the beautiful ladies that have come for to join us today. Um, yes. <laughs> most amazing lunch and I'm going to introduce you to everyone. Don't go shy on me. <laughs> Don't go shy on I me. Claire. You go you I'm shy. <laughs> okay, I'll introduce myself. Hi, I'm Ida. This is the Dior. Hi, I'm Andy. Oh, he, he's, he's back Denial. to life now. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> so these are the guys from Dior. And then we've got Lydia. Say hi, Lyd. And then we've got Carrie in the background. And then Sophie. And now we're going to have a nice glass of champagne. We've got the Eiffel Tower over there, the Louvre over here. And the weather's actually really perfect. It's like layering weather. 
in a bit of moody skies. Look at that, it's so beautiful. Paris is absolutely one of my faves. I'll definitely be taking some photos here, some cliche photos over there. But I would definitely recommend Lulu's when you come to Paris. Vlogger Central, look at this. <laughs> so this is the lovely Dior book that we got. Show the reflection. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, this is so special. I still want and it's grey. I want to go in the gift shop. Yes, Sophie, we're going to go to the gift shop. <laughs> she loves the gift shop. Look how stunning this is. This book is lovely. Dior. There he is. The man himself. And this totally goes with my house theme, which is Dior. This is the book we all got given. Excuse me. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, this is the book we all got given. Do you mind showing off that front cover again? Oh, look at that. Yeah, that is just amazing. That looks so good. That's really pretty. So here's our car. Come to pick us up. Saying goodbye to the exhibition. Oh my god, there's people. Um, here's the little Dior group. So we are at Avenue Montaigne. That sounds so sick, sorry. And we've got my coat because Got, it's, got the, it's got the security tag, so we're going to ask them if they can take it off for me. Maybe we can sleep in and skip work today. Then I'll make you scramble days. We got no plans for the day. Let's stay inside and play video games. So this one is 1,700 euros. And then the six stars is 6,000. 6, because there's a diamond yes, in every yes. star. And um, the collection oh, is based on a true story. You know, uh, Christi, Christian Dior was born in Normandy. So we've just been in the Avenue Montan. I know I say that so bad. Uh, Dior Boutique. And there's the Avenue across the road. Where has it gone? See it? Oh yes, you could see it the whole time. It's there. So for once, the thing that I fell in love with was a fine jewelry rose gold, I just showed you it. <laughs> One of the girls was telling us about it and the baby pink stone stands for protection and I really, really love that. I love the six stars, but I don't think that's gonna happen. Um, so yeah, I feel like jewelry's my new thing and I really, really love that. That's been my favorite thing from uh, the new collection. Bye. Bye, Bye. he's the best. Bye. <laughs> love him. He's here every time, actually. So we're heading home. Thank you for the best trip yeah. ever. You're very, very welcome. <laughs> my dear babe. Dear babes. What do you say in dear babes? So we're in the business class lounge. This is our little cabin booth. There's the trains. Got the other girls in there. Um, bar, we're going to order some gin and tonics and then I'm going to show you around. Okay, let's just spy here. So basically, you can get all your drinks, food. Why is it so busy? We've got these beautiful fireplaces. Can't film all the business people. He's just blocked my view that I was going to show you. Beautiful windows. And then all of these. This is embarrassing, literally. Everyone looks very professional. cut off and really bad today so I'm just about to pop to the shop so I've just this is like a casual outfit for me I've actually got my new I'm not going to show you properly because I've I'm stretching out my jeans because I bought them a size too small oh my god my jeans are undone so this is my new leather jacket from another stories it's quite acne-esque but um a tenth of the price also got some acne jeans on and a gammy old t-shirt I mean, I should have tried better for a Dior video, but um, I did have so much fun at the Dior um, day in Paris. So thank you so much to Christian Dior and Harrods for inviting me along. I didn't get as much footage as I hoped, which is normally the case when I'm having so much fun. Plus, I think I was overtired as well. I dealt with it quite well. So I thought this would be the perfect time to show you my Dior bag collection. Um, 
Yeah, and I think after that video, I think a lot of people are going to ask questions about bags, so, and I haven't shared my Dior collection. So I think I've got quite a good selection. I'm really happy with the ones that I've got. I'm just going to start off with the order of when I bought them. This is the first... Yeah, it is. This is the first Dior bag that I bought. I bought this for myself last Christmas, and it's in my unboxing, like, Christmas presents, but it was a present to myself. I originally wanted this in the Dove Grey, but I'm so glad that I didn't get a Dove Grey because I ended up getting my Hermes Kelly in the Dove Grey. So I'm really happy with this like graphite blue undertone grey. I bought it originally because I thought it was the perfect bag to have like a bigger size bag if I had a meeting to put my laptop on. My laptop does not fit in here but it's okay. Comes with a big strap. I don't like the big strap with this I must admit but I keep it in the bag just in case I, I need to use it. It's there if I really really need it maybe for travelling or something like that. It does look a little bit like a Birkin like this and it does look a little bit like a Kelly like this and I really like that about this bag. I think it's really secure I think it's really well made, it's very simple and I like it that it's quite masculine. Inside, I also have my Dior Twilly here with the C initial. Inside it's like this, always got receipts and lipsticks, with three inner pockets. It's very light but it does become quite heavy when you fill it up. But this is my, this is my Fendi Peekaboo, it's my go-to like bigger bag and I'm really pleased I got it in this. The mini mini size, I really really like that, I wouldn't say no to that one, it's definitely on my list. But this for me is a perfect colour, this is the Dior Ever. I think it was 2500, 2600, something like that and I just think they're really durable, really love how masculine it is and it's one of my favourite colours. So I definitely recommend this bag and I think it's the perfect work bag, day bag. Um, I'm going to try and get through this quick so it's not too long so I know that my videos are a bit long. Um, my second bag I got was the Dior Rama. I got this about two weeks after that one because I was just so happy with it. Again, I really wanted this in the Dove Grey but I have a classic Chanel flap in Dove Grey and it just would have been ridiculous. And I knew I was looking for that green moment, Kelly. I'm so happy with this because it's the only black and silver bag that I have, especially one that's practical like this. Initially, when I first felt it, I didn't like how light this chain was. I thought that it was, um, I just felt a bit too light and I didn't like that. But it's actually a blessing because it's so comfortable. It doesn't mark my shoulder and I can see why they did that. Also, the leather here stops my hair from getting caught in the chain. Um, I love this grained leather. Again, love how simple it is. From the Dior of that was when I really started loving Christian Dior because although I've always been a fan, it's never been true to my style. I've loved it from afar, but until the Dior of that and the Dior Rama, it was too feminine for me. So I'm so happy with this. I love the pale pink inside. It's fabric inside. It has a slot here, which is perfect for my iPhone Plus. It has a zip here and then just an open pocket. I've got so much wear out of this and I love the combination of silver and black. For me, it's been really durable. I can't recommend this bag enough. I love wearing it crossbody. I love wearing it like this. Sometimes I hold it like this. It's just such a durable bag. Um, and I think this is definitely cheaper than the Chanel Classic Flap. I think this was also 2,500. So for what you get with this bag, and the quality, I think it's such a good buy. I would definitely buy this again. I'd probably buy it in the, the mini, not the one on the chain, the one that's like this size. I really love that. You'll see that there was a black one somewhere in the video there. That was Ida's bag, so nice. The next one that I got was this. Oh, one of my twinnies has come off. Um, this is the Lady Dior in Pal Pink, as you learned from the exhibition. This was um, a bag made and designed for Lady Dior, which is why it's called the Lady D bag. Um, I have always loved this bag, and this is Paris's all-time favourite bag. Um, but I never bought one for so many reasons. One, it was just too feminine, but the main reason was it had the zip here and it was just so uncomfortable to get your hand in and out. As soon as I saw that they did this, I loved it. And then when I saw this chunky leather chain, 
I really, really loved that because it's just this tiny little element that makes it that little bit more masculine. But for me, when I saw the, the badges, the personalised badges, and it was the zodiac signs, I just fell in love with it straight away. And now I've been to the exhibition. Sorry if I'm talking fast, but my battery is literally flashing. Um, after going to the exhibition, I learned that Christian Dior was very superstitious, went to mediums once a week to see the direction of his life and his business. So this has so much meaning, and now I understand why they do so many zodiac signs. I and mean, then I really love this about, about that bag. Um, I have no idea where that other hand um, Twilly's gone. The Twilly that I bought is Seasons, so this is the winter one because it's my favourite season. I'm so glad I bought this because they're filthy and the handles are immaculate, so I have put that on there for a reason, to protect the handle. This is um, called Happy Pink and for a light coloured glam skin bag, this is done extremely well, I have no colour transfer, nothing, although I am quite careful. Stay away from pleather and unwashed jeans because it's just a no-go with colour transfer. So the reason why I bought this bag is because a handful of times a year I do actually dress like a girl. Um, I like it, I like it a couple of times a year. Normally it'll be for a wedding or if I'm going on a date with Paris and I love that way he looks at me. I catch him looking at me as if to be like, oh, you can be girly, and I know he really likes it. I know he likes my, like, boyish side. I know he does deep down inside. But I do honestly dress for him just a couple of times a year because I know he likes it, and also I want to be a little bit girly. My Zimmerman dress actually made me get this because every time I put on, like, a Zimmerman dress or I was going to a wedding, I just didn't have one feminine bag. I have my bright pink Chanel, but it was too bright pink. Like I actually like to still wear them Chanel bags a bit edgy. For me, it still isn't very girly. So this is my one bag. I don't wear it very often because I save it for those girly days. But when I have it and I want that girly bag, this is my go-to bag. It fits so much inside. I love holding it like this, but I also really love the strap. I use the strap all the time and I always keep it on. So it's just a, such an iconic classic bag, and I think that's a lot of people's favourite. My last dual bag is the Dorissimo. I originally saw this in Cannes a year before my wedding, so 2014, and it was a bit more of a dusty blue, which I did prefer, but it was so from so long ago. They haven't done this colour in a while, and I just really wanted a baby blue day bag, and I knew I wanted it in this Durissimo. It has the pochette inside, which is really good for um, like an open, not bucket bag, but an open bag like this, because then I can put things like my passport, earrings, I always put like, sometimes a loose bank card or money, and it's just a really nice day bag. It's quite heavy, and that is random necklace. Oh, I got that at uni. That's a Tatty Divine necklace. Does anyone remember them? It randomly shows up every now and again. Um, what was I even saying? Yeah, so it's quite heavy because the handles are really heavy. I like it because it feels like a good quality bag. And I love the strap. I use this a lot because it's nice and thin. There's just something I really have against that Dior of a strap. I don't know what it is. But I really like this one and it sits really well and really nice. Really recommend this bag. It's like quite quite formal I would say so I think this is really nice for like you could even wear this to a wedding or like a dinner I still think it's perfectly acceptable I'm not one of those people that wear evening bags but you know there are slight rules and I think that this one is also perfect for like events and things like that so it's a bit of a snazzy what am I even talking about I know what I mean this is like my posh bag my grown-up bag does that make sense so I feel like I have one for every occasion. I have my girly bag, I have like my edgy bag, I have my masculine day bag, and I have my girly posh bag. So for me, I'm really happy with my dual bags that I have. It's just a strap. I have not got a favourite. I truly do not have a favourite. If I was going to buy another one, I think it would probably be the Diorama in the small size because I love smaller bags. I, I would also probably go for the Dior Eva in the mini. Um, but even a Lady Dior, like you saw in the vlog when I was looking, it was definitely on my Instagram, I was looking at a Lady Dior this size. And it's the new kind of softer squashy one and it was in like a tarnished gold. 
I loved that bag. Like if I was going to buy anything that day, it would have been that one, which is so strange for me to buy another Lady Dior. Um, but I can't recommend the favour. I really can't. The Dior armour, I wear the most, but I think it's because it's black and silver. So <clears throat> that's it really. So I hope that was useful. I'm really trying to keep this down to a minimum. So Dior armour, Durissimo, Dior Ever and Lady Dior. They're the four that I have. Uh, I think they're really good quality bags and I'm sorry but I can't pick a favourite and I really think I'm just saying the same information now over and over again. But I just wanted to show you the four Christian Dior bags that I have. I um, was going to try and pick a favourite but I couldn't and I hope that was a little bit helpful if you're thinking about getting another Dior bag. I'm totally losing this now so that will be the end of the video. I hope you liked it. I'm going to do my jeans up now <laughs> if I can. <laughs>